Hey, what's up guys? You know me, that's my name, not gonna say it. I wanted to talk about some things that I hate about Google Plus. Now, if you guys saw last week's video, I talked about how to love Google Plus, and I also mentioned that a lot of YouTubers are expressing hate towards this social network. Here's a little snippet if you didn't see it. So number one, disown everything you previously had conceived about YouTube. If you ever thought that it was about sharing yourself and getting yourself out there and your views, you are wrong. It's all about people making money. That's it, period. But this week I wanted to talk about things that I hate about Google Plus. Google has a lot to change. And if they want Google Plus to be successful, here's 10 things that I think they should change about Google Plus. I wanted to welcome Donnie along for the ride to help me express my feelings because strength comes with numbers. Up to. Donnie, take it away. We're gonna have to start off with all the advertisements. And I'm sure that many other YouTubers make money from that. But it still annoys me that I cannot go directly to a video without watching a ad. You can't be creative anymore because if you want to be seen, you have to do things that the general public is doing. The things that the masses are doing. You have to jump on board with like twerking and other stuff. Unless you are doing what the mainstream is doing, you are not going to get in front of anybody's eyes. And that stinks. These days, I cannot reply to comments because the person who comments on my channel does not have a Google Plus account. YouTube just doesn't let me reply. There's a lack of friend interaction. You can't create video responses. You can't view video responses. There's a lot of things that are stopping people from being able to connect. They took away our opportunity to be creative without the personalization of your channel. You cannot be a hundred percent creative. Next, you have to learn a whole new social network. Google Plus is this whole new thing and sharing is really confusing. You are taking away your privacy. For example, let's take someone who doesn't want to show their real identity on YouTube because they are afraid of something. And they have to create a Google Plus account and they have to show everything. By making you do things and share things, you don't want other people to know. YouTube gives a chance to psychos who want to kill you. So they just have to click on your Google Plus account and then they can find out where you are and just finally come up to you and kill you. When you post a comment on Google Plus or on YouTube, you can make it private. So say someone makes a private comment on my video. Yes, I can see it, but I can't say anything. I can't thumb it up. I don't think they're saying something, but they're not. And it takes control away from basically the person sharing themselves. Google has plus in the name. Unlike what I said in my last video, pluses. I hate pluses. Google Plus is a big mind. And finally, Google comments are broken. You can spam. Google didn't think that through. I was okay with not being able to post links in the comments if I wasn't gonna see all this. Just allow us to post YouTube links at least if you're gonna get real video responses. So that's what I think Google should change if they want Google Plus to survive. Leave me a comment below with what you think Google can improve on. I wanna thank Donnie from It's Me, Donnie B. Go subscribe to her. She's got some pretty cool videos. I wanna thank you guys for watching and being awesome viewers. Thank you, you guys are great. I'm serious. Trust me, serious people don't take microphones off of their camera so that they can talk to you. How you doing? Good, good. I have a secret to tell you. So this other day, peace!